Hello there Reason People, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel. I've had this comment left on my beginner's guide to EMI and MIDI loopback in Reason and basically he's really looking to um, set up a jam MIDI guitar um, and he's obviously having issues with the loopback. Um, I do wonder if he's actually having issues really with the loopback or actually getting the audio set up in this particular case, but let's have a quick look. So for those who don't know what um, MIDI guitar or MIDI bass is, it's just basically an audio to MIDI converter, nothing more. The difference between the two different ones, and I don't know this application too well, I'm going to say that up front, I've only literally just sort of opened it up, is MIDI guitar seems to be a polyphonic audio MIDI converter, and obviously MIDI bass is... a uh, monophonic um, and as I say I really don't know this application too well I've only just started playing with it so the great thing is though is when you actually download it and you run the executable there isn't actually an installation it just runs the executable straight away so it's very very straightforward I was quite surprised that so we can go into and obviously you can trial it this is the sort of screen you're given there's a lot going on this screen I really don't know and I'm not going to really talk about this application what I'm interested in is this area over here. So I thought, let's do this straight from scratch. So I'm gonna actually, from my loop MIDI, I'm gonna actually create myself a brand new port, I might as well, so I'll go through this right from the beginning. And I'm gonna obviously call this one Jam, so I'm gonna click on Add, and obviously at the very bottom here, we can see my Jam port. And what we're gonna do now is select it under here. What I have noticed with this application is sometimes you've got to go in this twice just for it to pick up that new port, which is fair enough. So there we go, I've now set up my MIDI loop back, so it's now going to talk to uh, the jam port. Um, as I said, the configuration of the audio side is more than likely where people hit on issues, because obviously when you have multiple um, audio applications running um, in Windows and depending on the applications, they can lock the device. So it could be that he's getting devices being locked. And in my particular case, um, I've obviously decided to set this up for ISO for all. And what I had to do to be careful of was I just had input only going into this. So I've actually disabled any sort of output so it doesn't lock um, my output for my Reason device, or my Reason application, should I say. So now what we've done is I say, we've set up the MIDI loop back and that's gonna to talk to Jam. So what we're gonna do now is actually in Reason itself, under preferences, obviously surface controller. And if you get obviously looking at my beginner's guide, you can see this all slowed down. And now I'm gonna select my jam port, there it is. And I'm just gonna call this jam so I don't get lost because I've got so many ports set up. Click OK. And that should be it really. That should be reason now up and running. That should have the focus. I'm just gonna bring up this little application because this little application does get this uh, little dialog box pop up and when this dialog box pops up it doesn't work so you have to obviously click on continue to carry on working now I have got a camcorder somewhere because what I'm going to be using and I'm going to say sorry for my wobbly camcord um, I'm going to be using my Korg and how I set my Korg up is I've, it's audio only going into my PC which is obviously then talking to the MIDI guitar and theoretically, I suppose, if I um, oops, play my keyboard, you can hear it playing the Thor. And it's actually playing in polyphonic. I found this application to have a few ghost notes go on in that. So let me just uh, come over here and see if we can just turn this up a little bit. But I've, I have found it, that it does play some ghost notes. Obviously, I've got real bad um, latency issues. it working and that in a nutshell really is all I want to really cover in this particular video as I'm saying to that particular person have a close look on your audio interface and see really what's going on there because there's a good chance that is where you are seeing probably a lot of your, your issues with um, audio drivers being locked out from one application to the other as I say the MIDI loopback stuff was really as straightforward as I just showed there in that video and it shouldn't be anything more complex than that okay Thank you for watching. Bye for now.